well, Mark Collins is going to show you something about how these spaghetti models that we use often to give an idea of where the storm may go and how they're going to be playing out this year. Here's Mark. Year where hurricanes can start popping up, and if you're one of those that likes to track the storms, which is the best model? to track. Well, the Hurricane Center came up with their verification from last year. It's where they grade themselves and they also look at what were the best performing models. And the winner is the GFS. Well, that's the American model and usually it rivals the European model. This year, the Euro came in second. When you look at these lines, well, you can see that the actual human, the, the forecaster at the National Hurricane Center beat all of them. But over time, the model skill actually decreases and uh, that is simply because models aren't that good further out in time. What takes its place? Well, just the simple statistics of where a storm is at and where it's going over time. And those are the clipper models. And so the clipper forms the baseline for basically uh, judging how these models perform. And so this year, the GFS did really well, especially up through day two, 48 hours. And then all of the models kind of uh, went downhill the further out in time. Some of the, the worst performers were the COAMPS, that's the Navy model, and the CMC, the Canadian model, shown there in yellow. So when we show these forecast models on television, it's these spaghetti plots. And the tighter they are, the more clustered they are, the more certain that the storm is going to move on that track. When they diverge, you get really widespread. That's usually an indication that the storm uh, is not really forecasted very well. So that's something to consider when you look at these spaghetti plot models. Now, if you go all the way back to the 1990s, a 48 hour forecast had only about a, a 200 mile error. Now they're down to about 50 miles in uh, error. So the forecasts have been getting better, but the one thing to take away is that you probably want to just rely on the Hurricane Center forecast because there's a lot of nuances to the forecast models and they know really what, which ones work best. And in fact, they proved it last year where their forecasts were equal to better than the five year uh, average. And last year it was the second busiest uh, as insofar as the amount of forecasts that they issued and their two and three day uh, track forecasts were uh, the best on record and they issued about 600 forecasts last year. I certainly hope we don't have that many storms to have to pay attention to this year. All is quiet in the tropics, though, at least for now.